Hey YouTube, welcome back to Arabin Outdoors. Hey, I'm Arabin, but you knew that, didn't you? Welcome to the Fox Den, guys. Today I'm smoking this pipe that belonged to my father. Beautiful pipe. Almost as old as I am, I would say. And inside the pipe I'm smoking some Maple Street by Sutliff. I'm also uh, enjoying some Canadian whiskey. That is uh, Canadian Club Apple. Alright, today guys I'm going to share with you 10 things that every man should know how to do. And in no particular order. Alright, let's get started. Number one, every man should know how to change the tire on a car. If it hasn't happened to you yet, don't worry, it will. It's one of those hope you never need it, but glad you had it skills. Um, so, yeah, do it. Alright, the next one also falls in the automotive category. So, number two, every man should know how to jump start a battery. Again, hopefully you won't find yourself in this situation, but I think a lot of us have been there. So always carry a set of jumper cables in your car. Alright, number three. Every man should know how to cook. Now, I'm not saying you have to put on an apron and be an uh, elaborate chef. I think that every man should know a few basic recipes and how to do it. Alright, number four, every man should know how to properly shake hands. I know this may be a little taboo right now with the whole COVID thing going on. Every man should know how to give a proper, good, firm handshake. I can't wait till we get back to handshaking because I'm not sure about this fist pumping thing. The number five thing that every man should know how to do is drive a stick shift or a manual transmission. If you call yourselves men, learn how to drive a stick shift even if you have an automatic. I don't know, there's something about that that just really irks me. Let's see, where are we? Alright, number six guys. Every man should know how to use a map and a compass. A map Okay? A paper map. Yeah, I know everybody has smartphones now. And I, yeah, I know about Google Maps. I use that myself. But, every man should know how to read a map. When all that stuff goes away and you can't use it, you're going to have to break out a map and know north from south, west from east and how to navigate and get around using a map. And in addition to being able to use the map, know how to use a compass. Alright? Just the basics. Know how to tell which way is north. And from that, know your directions. Never eat soggy waffles. North, east, south, west. Never eat soggy waffles. Basic stuff, guys. Know it. Alright guys, that brings us to number seven. And the seventh thing that every man should know how to do is render basic first aid. We're not talking about brain surgery or having to do an appendectomy or a tracheostomy or anything like that. But basic first aid. Know how to treat a cut. Know how to treat a sprained ankle or wrist or arm. Know basic CPR. The Heimlich Maneuver. I would recommend looking into your local Red Cross and see if they have any classes available. And if you have a family member or a friend that is a nurse, a doctor, an EMT, ask them if they would be willing to spend a little bit of time with you to go over basic first aid. What you do in a major trauma situation until the proper EMTs or medical personnel arrive on scene could very well save someone's life. And the number eight thing that every man should know how to do is how to make simple repairs around the house. 
All right, now I'm not, again, I'm not talking on anything extravagant like installing an AC system, but know how to fix a leaky faucet. Know how to change a lock on a door. Know how to install a light fixture. How to change your air filter. How to change your water filter if you have a well. You know, just the basic things. Not only are they good skills to have, but it could save you some money in the long run, too. No need to call out a $400 an hour plumber to fix a leaky faucet. You should know how to do that. Alright, that brings us to number 9. And number 9 is kind of a two-part, okay? Number 9 is every man should know how to use a firearm. Uh, and the, the second aspect of number 9 is every man should know how to protect himself and his family. Every man should have some level of self-defense skills, okay? Be it with a bladed weapon or a firearm or mace, a stun gun, a cane, whatever. Every man should know how to protect himself and his loved ones by whatever means he may choose. Should everybody know how to use a gun? I think so. I think people that don't have guns in their houses are just asking for trouble. But if you're going to have a gun, know how to use it properly, know how to maintain it, how to clean it, how to operate it safely. I would recommend if you don't have somebody that can teach you. Now I was blessed to grow up in a family with guns, so I was taught at a young age gun safety. Contact your local gun range. They can put you in touch with professionals. The NRA has resources available. But learn how to use a firearm. But even if you buy a gun and never have to use it, again, it's one of those things you hope you never have to use. But if you have to, you're glad you know how. Alright? So, protect yourself and protect your family. Every man should know how to do it. All right, and the tenth thing, and this one is close to my heart, every man should know how to groom himself properly. Now, I know there's some guys out there that say, all that grooming stuff, that ain't for man. Real men don't need to groom themselves. There is nothing worse than a man that stinks, all right? Come on, guys, take care of yourselves. Have some pride, all right? Trim your nails, all right? If a guy has nails out to here and there's all kind of dirt and everything under them, nothing turns a lady off more than unkept fingernails on a man. It doesn't take long to do. And if you're going to have facial hair, alright, keep it groomed, keep it trimmed, keep it clean. Use deodorant, guys, every day. Take showers, alright? It's just something that I was taught at a young age. My father taught me how to shave and uh, how to groom and just being clean, smelling good, looking good, um, as good as I can look. I consider it one of the 10 things that every man should know how to do. All right guys, I had a couple of other items. I guess we'll call these bonus items. Bonus item number one, every man should know how to start a fire. And number two, every man should know how to sharpen a blade. Alright guys, there you go. Ten things every man should know according to Arabin. And I know there are a lot more things that a man should know, of course. But I think these are ten very important things that every man should know. What did I leave off, guys? What do you think I should have added to the list? I'd love to hear from you. And by the way, thanks for sticking around and watching the video. I really appreciate it. If you liked the video, please give me a thumbs up. And... If you subscribe to my channel, thank you so much. I really mean it. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, then I'd like to ask you to do so right now. By hitting like, subscribing, and sharing, it lets YouTube know that I'm still here. And I really do appreciate it. Thanks again, guys. Till next time, keep calm, carry on, and keep it outdoors.